Welcome back, this is Bobbiscope with an episode of Let's Play Diablo 2. I'm joined as always by my paladin, as well as Mahala, she is back with us. Uh, when we last left off, I just got the scroll of Inifus. Now, uh, we have to touch the, the stones in the order that Akara told us to. I went back to Akara, if you remember right, and... Um, she told us what order to go through. We have new enemies here. Wow. We have new enemies in a place that we've already been. Welcome to Diablo 2. Now, yeah, I'm back in the stony field. This was the last place we went. If you remember, there were cairn stones near the entrance, which was down here. Yeah, next to the moldy tome, if I remember right. Well, over there. I remember them being over there, weren't they over there? Yeah. Oh, in the Black Marsh. I might be remembering things wrong. I swear. The Cairn Stones. Ooh, chipped amethyst. I swear the Cairn Stones were over that way. But I don't see them on my map, and that's starting to worry me. Maybe they were through the other side? This is starting to worry me. Ooh, a chipped skull. Okay, so a chipped skull, they are the same as any other gem that you get in the game. You know, they work the same except they're they're poisoned instead of uh, you know blue is cold, rubies Ah, see here are here they are. I swear they were down here. And we need to kill whatever his name was again. I, I killed him in like one shot, so I didn't get to see. I, I heard, yeah, I heard a gem fall. It was a amethyst. I haven't really gone over those, but um, yeah, everything has uh, a, a kind of a, a a thing that it does. Chip, chip skulls. It's life stolen, mana stolen, regenerating life and hit when you when you put those on. Uh, but I, I once again, I do not recommend those. Um, uh, we'll, we'll find out why I don't recommend those very soon. Uh, anything else I need here? No. Okay, so let's look at the scroll of Inifus. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Now it's a little, it's written a little weird, so let's go. That one is actually one. This one's two, three, four, five. And this should open up a portal that'll take us to Tristram. Let's go ahead and go there. This is where we were. Tragic end to <laughs> Tristram. <laughs> the cow explodes. Uh, this is where Diablo 1 took place and you'll notice that it's kind of overrun now with night clans and all that. We have to find and rescue Deckard Kane. He's the only one that made it. So I hate to put it to you. But he is the only one that made it. We do have a special here. Uh, it looks like his name is Seath Ripper. Seath Ripper, I should say. And we do have the boss here. Griswold, the blacksmith, if you remember from, from the Alpha One. He is now the boss here because he was colded. Colded? Shut up. Because we infected him with cold, he is pretty much crap. He's a melee guy. Melee guys struggle when they're cold. They have a hard time dealing with it. Down goes everything around here. And uh, let me try to make some room here. For that trident. There we go. Now, usually this is a great spot to level grind. And it normally... I would normally recommend it, but... Uh, I believe it only works in uh, single player because you have to have the quest in order to activate it. And I believe this is going to put me over. Yes, this jawbone cap. Uh, let's drop something just so I can pick it up. The jawbone cap. It is for barbarians only, but since it has a plus three to one of their skills, it is incredibly good to sell. So I'm going to go back to town empty out my inventory again, and I will be right back. 
Okay, went back and sold everything here. Uh, you notice that I picked up the rejuvenation potion. I don't have it in my inventory. I keep all of those in uh, my private stash as well. Uh, the reason that I do that, once again, will, will become very apparent later on. I hope. A lot of people disagree with, uh, with my method, I guess. Um, it's just how I've always done it. A lot of people will say to use them, um, you know, as soon as you get them. Okay, this is, this is very important. Uh, a lot of people miss this one. This is Wirt. You guys remember Wirt from Diablo 1? He's here. He didn't make it. He is full of gold. Take all his gold. He was the one that you gambled from. He also has Wirt's leg. Why was it? Is it socketed? It's socketed. It is technically a weapon. It does one hand damage and it has three sockets. Do not sell this. Do not throw it away. Keep it in your stash. Once again, for reasons that will become apparent later. Um, basically, that's, that's how you get to the bonus level. Is by taking his leg. So do not forget to take his leg. And keep it with you for a long time. The bonus level is very difficult from what I remember. So we, you know, we're not going to it yet. We'll have to come back here. You know, we'll have to come back here much, much later on in order to do that. All right, we've cleared out all sides here. Let's go ahead and start making our way to the middle. There are going to be some champions in the middle, from what I remember. At least a champion. Yeah, here we go. Champion Night Clans. Now. They should all die fairly easily, and they should drop some really good equipment, like a yellow shield. Now, like I said, they, they drop two potions and either a lot of gold or an item, a uh, magic item. D did you hear that? Did you hear him? He's right here! Kane, get out of your gibbet! I could Kane, leave quickly. That was me that said that, by the way. I have a very gruff voice from time to time, apparently. Body is now on fire. So those were the things that were guarding him. Uh, you cannot uh, warp through his, his town portal. I don't know why, to be honest with you. Uh, let's take this time to, to level up. Am I level 11? Not good enough. All right, visit Kane and Ankara in the Rogue encampment. Let's go ahead and do that by running back to the waypoint. So, uh, Deckard Kane, probably the most important character in this game after you. Possibly even more important than your mercenary, to be honest with you. Deckard Kane is vital to this game. Without him, there's no game. All right, there's the waypoint up there. So let's go and talk to him. And we can go over why. So let's talk to a... Uh, not a car first. Let's talk to Deckard Kane first. How you doing, dude? I haven't seen you since the last game. Greetings, Greetings indeed. Your, uh, I still have to assume it's a bad Sean Connery impression. As a token of my gratitude, I will identify items for you at no charge. Regrettably, I could do nothing to prevent the disaster which devastated Tristram. It would appear that our greatest fears have come to pass. Diablo, the Lord of Terror, has once again been set loose upon the world. As you know, some time ago Diablo was slain beneath Tristram, and when our hero emerged triumphant from the labyrinth beneath town, we held a grand celebration that lasted several days. Yet, as the weeks passed, our hero became increasingly aloof. He kept his distance from the rest of the townsfolk and seemed to lapse into a dark, brooding depression. I thought that perhaps his ordeal had been so disturbing that he simply could not put it out of his mind. The hero seemed more tormented every passing day. I remember he awoke many times, screaming in the night, always something about the East. One day he simply left, and shortly thereafter Tristram was attacked by legions of foul demons. Many were slain, and the demons left me to die in that cursed cage. 
I believe now that Tristram's hero was that dark wanderer who passed this way before the monastery fell. I fear even worse, my friend. I fear that Diablo has taken possession of the hero who sought to slay him. If true, Diablo will become more powerful than ever before. You must stop him, or all will be lost. So, that is all. This is the best reward in the game, if you ask me. Uh, better than any skill points or anything like that. He will identify items for free. It, it just saves so much hassle. Click this. He identifies everything in your inventory. And that's it. And it's awesome. So, Decker Game pretty much said what I had said already. The, uh, the Dark Wanderer um, is pretty much Diablo has possessed our warrior from the first game. You have something to say? risked your life to rescue Cain. For that, we thank you. We must seek his counsel immediately. I already did. Uh, so yeah, she healed me. Um, what she did? She drop something, or she gave me something? She gave me a ring. Plus two to dexterity. She gave me a crappy ring, to be honest with you. So I'm going to finish uh, everything up around here. Uh, Actually, doesn't somebody give me a quest at this yes. point? It's either Cassia or Charcy. Yeah, it's Charcy gives you. me a quest at this point. When I fled the monastery, I left behind the Herodric Malice, my enchanted smithing hammer. If you can retrieve it for me, I'll use its magic to strengthen your equipment. So there we go, our next quest. We have to find the Herodric Malice and give it back to Charcy. It's in the monastery barracks. We're still not there. We have to defeat the smith in order to get it, apparently. So, now I'm gonna do some shopping, and I'll meet you back in... what's the name of it? The Dark Wood. Okay, we are back in the Dark Wood, and I did, uh, change my shield. Uh, this is the one that I picked up, uh, has higher defense, higher chance to block, faster block rate, which is always good, cold resist, and attacker takes damage of one, so... I end up keeping that one, and actually I'm going to keep uh, the targe that I had, and, and I, I'm going to get rid of the other one that was on one. So, we need to move on. Let us go this way. Is that a real short uh, I don't care about uh, things that are socketed at this point. Did I really? Okay, there he is. Steel flame. I two shot. <laughs> so I say, did I one shot the special? Good lord. Oh, looks like we got a big encampment over here. Let's go ahead and take them out. Just clearing a path to the shamans. Oh. Die. I see you over here. Oh, you were a regular. I thought you were a shaman. Ah, uh, shamans. I hate shamans. Oh, there was... There was something else here. A dark spear woman, I think it was. I don't know, I didn't really get a chance to tell. Alright, let's go in here. Always a good treasure. And Damn it, this is the empty one. Wasn't this empty last time, too? Like, it, they're rarely empty like that. I'm surprised that it was. I don't know if that once, once it's empty once, it's empty forever, but... Yeah, it's rarely empty. Oh, come on, I swear that hit the spike fiend. Oh, it exploded into cold. Now, if you kill something that can be revived, like those carvers, and you kill them by making them explode into ice, icy chunks, uh, they cannot be revived. So, there's a, there's another bonus to having cold. A vile Lancer, that's what these are called. Dark Spear Womans or something else. Now, we have not ex finished exploring this particular part of the map, so let's go ahead and finish doing that right now. Then we could probably pick up a preserved head. Is this going to be good? No. Just had one uh, small thing on it, so it's not going to be that great. And it was because it wasn't a skill; it was add poison damage, which is okay. Give me that chip to amethyst. Uh, you want, yeah, collect as many of those as you can, if you ask me. The the gems, but the the regular. Um, 
jeez. The, the regular... Oh, portal shrine. Opens up a portal. Uh, do I need to use... I don't, I don't need to use that at all right now. In fact, I have the scroll of identify. Let's use that on the ring. Plus one to maximum damage, plus five to mana. Uh, no. Uh, I don't think it's good. Uh, it's not obviously better, so I'm going to leave it alone for now, and I'll double check it a little bit later on. I, I can't see where it is. There it is. It was hiding in the trees. It came out of the trees, man. All right. Open up that loose rock. Get some more spike fiends. This was the, the tree of Enifis, if you remember. Oh, and it's guarded by the special. I forgot about a uh, tree head wood fist. Not tree beard, tree head. Oh, and a jawbone cap. Uh, the other one didn't sell for as much as I was hoping, but yeah, you want to pick those up anyway. Usually the barbarian stuff does sell for pretty good. Not fantastic. The best stuff is, is the sorceress and the necromancer stuff, to be honest with you. Uh, paladin stuff does okay, um, but I'm going to be picking those up regardless. Let's look at that. Two to Hal, one to Axe Mastery. That should be a high seller, I would think. Honestly, uh, I was I was kind of hoping that the last one being a plus three to Hal uh, would would sell for max, which is fifty thousand, as I've gone over before, uh, but it did not. It sold for less than a thousand, I think. You know, what, forget it. We don't need to kill these things again. You know, we've already killed them. Let's head up this way and just finish this small little part right here. Apparently, that I missed. And then we can move on. Keep on going through the road here. Oh, there's a small part right here. Oh, just die. Pick up that chest while I'm here. Rejuvenation potion. Those are good for later. Uh, let's. I don't want to give too much away, but let's just say that it's crafting. They're good for crafting later. So you don't want to use all the, everything. Everything that I'm saving is used for crafting later. So keep that in mind. Don't use them. Mahara, Mahala. Sorry, Mahala. Leveled up. I will get her name straight without looking one of these days. Oh, crap! Another huge freaking thing. Of all these carvers. I don't like these huge things anymore. They don't really give me that great of, like, items or anything. Mahala takes forever to kill them. There's a key. Keys aren't that great in this game, to be honest with you. I encounter so many of them. Like, even this early in the game, they're, they're near useless. They only sell for 6 each. It comes in a stack of 12, so it, it sells for 72. Uh, I try to keep... At, I try to keep one extra stack than, than what I need, and then when I get to town, I sell it. That's pretty much how I work with keys. Ah, I picked up a minor mana potion. I don't need you! Let's leave here. And we can head on forward to, I believe this is going to be the Black Marsh. It is. Here we have Night Clans. Will you drop stamina potion? I'll take a look at that. Yeah, keys, stacks of 12, don't don't sell very well. Uh, usually the potions are, are going to be more cost efficient for you to pick up, especially the light and regular ones. The, the, the minor ones you can go ahead and leave at this point, or at least I can. I don't need them very often. Usually I run out of, a, out of room in my inventory before I run out of health, you know what I mean? Ooh, a wolf head. Let's go ahead and use this well. Uh, wells can be used twice. They heal both uh, health and mana. Uh, wolf heads are for druids. Uh, once again, they sell very well because druids are male characters and the game is sexist. I said racist. I don't know why I said racist. They are, the game is clearly sexist. And anything for women does not sell well. An experience shrine. I will use it.